Hi everyone, this is a quick video on how to navigate the quiz pages in Active Lesson EdTech. So the first thing you have to do is pay attention to how the answers need to be entered and they will be asked to be entered in a specific fashion. So you have to pay attention to that. Once you've entered your answers, you have to click on the check button. And you'll get a message on top as to whether you got the question right or wrong. If you missed part of the question, you'll see that the correct answers are not outlined in red, and the incorrect answers will be highlighted in red. So this will tell you which ones you missed. In the upper left-hand corner, you'll see the number of attempts you have to get the question correct. If you're unsure of the answer, you might have to go back and look it up. This is a good time to use the split screen feature of Edge to go back and look up. Never navigate away from the active answer page, the one on the left in this example, as you will lose all of your current work. So once you've got the answer correct, you can navigate back to the main Active Lessons page. And in this instance, we did Lesson Review 1. You can see where that correct question will be recorded. So you got one out of the 19 done. One out of the 19 questions in this lesson review one done, and it, you can see it's correct. Your goal here is to get 19 out of 19, obviously, if you can. And then navigating back to where you did the correct answer, the page with the correct answer, you can see you have the message in the upper left-hand corner that says previously answered correctly. It's important you understand that now you can come back to this page or any other page you've completed when you complete the whole quiz and use it as a study page with no effect on your original score. You can type and hit check again or simply hit reveal as many times as you wish with no penalty. Another great hack the students use is that when you have a question with a large number of answers, again, use the split screen feature. So by splitting the screen, you can answer on the left side, answer on the left page, and while keeping the image in view on the right page. And by doing it this way, you do a lot less scrolling back and forth, and you can keep that question, image of question in view. So to summarize, never navigate from an active answer page until you have completed it. Two, the split screen function is useful for review while answering questions or while answering questions with a lot of answers. And three, once you have completed a page or all the pages within a quiz, you can come back and reuse the questions as a study tool with no effect on your original score.